Assessment 101 at Johnson County Community College. Welcome. My name is Dr. Sherry Barrett. I'm the Director of the Office of Outcomes Assessment here at the college. We prepared a series of videos that we hope will help you as you begin your time teaching here at the college, especially in the area of assessing student learning. Let's start by, with some definitions. What is assessment? I've picked three here because I think they really speak to the heart of assessment. Assessment is linked to decision making about curriculum. Assessment is, measures real life gaps in the desired skills and performances of your students. And finally, assessment leads to reflection and action by faculty. As you begin thinking about assessment for your department, for your class, here's some questions to think about. What should your students be learning? How well are they learning it? What evidence do you have that they are learning? And what are you going to do with the evidence? Those questions make up the heart of assessment. When we talked about assessment here at the college, I like to use this example or this matrix of the cycle of assessment as a way to talk about it. It begins with a question. What is the assessment question that you have about your students? It next goes to a plan. How are you going to answer the question? What mechanisms are you going to put in place? How are you going to collect the data? Next comes the collection and scoring of the data. Where in the semester are you going to do it? How are you going to score it? Are you going to use a rubric or some other mechanism? Next, we analyze and discuss the data. What is it telling you? What have you learned about your students? What do your colleagues think? Finally, we move on to act and report. How is this going to change your curriculum? What emphasis are you going to change? Are you going to change pedagogies? Do you need a different book? Do you need to change your lesson plans? And again, it starts all over, over with a question. What's next? Let's start right now talking a little bit more about the question. A good research question is really imperative to a good assessment plan. It also will help drive what you're going to be doing in the assessment cycle itself. A good assessment question needs to be meaningful, actionable, relatable, measurable, and manageable. Let's break these down a little bit more. Meaningful. You know, I know you're taking time out of other things that you do to assess the students. So we want to make sure that you're asking a question that you really want to know the answer to. This is going to take time and energy to do. So let's make sure it's meaningful to you. Once you have it, the question sorted out, it needs to be something that you really, really want to know about your students. Actionable. We want to make sure that we're writing a research question that you can take the results from the question and you can do something with this in your class or program. So actionable results. Relatable. Your research question should be tied to your course, maybe one of your course objectives. It should be tied to your program goals. And of course, it should be tied to the college's overarching student learning outcomes. Measurable. We want to make sure you work to create a question that you can answer. Usually that means narrowing down the question. Very often when I talk to faculty, they have really great questions, but they're too big and broad and ill-defined. An example of a question that might be too broad is, what attitudes do students need to possess to pass the problem-solving essay portion on a midterm exam? A narrower question that would be answerable would be, what key concepts are students not understanding in the curriculum as reflected in the problem-solving essay portion of the midterm? Manageable. It's important to keep the actual process of collecting the data manageable. This isn't your only or even your primary job, but it is an important part of what you do here at the college. Next steps in the cycle, making a plan. So the next video in this series will guide you through the planning process and deciding on an appropriate assessment tool to use to answer your assessment question.